The primary task of a lexical analyzer is it breaks a sentence or a statement into tokens. This means the input to lexical analyzer is a sentence or a statement or a program and the output of lex lexical analyzer is a stream of tokens. Okay, So, uh, we have taken this example. Position is assigned rate into 60 semicolon. Now, whenever we give this, this statement to a lexical analyzer, to the lexer, it should identify that position is an identifier here. Rate is an identifier. This equal to sign is assign. This star should be multiply or mul and 60 should be a constant. In the previous class, we got the basic idea of how a lexical analyzer works. In the previous class, we said that whenever we have a program like this, this program by the way was taken from Carnegie and Ritchie C programming language second edition and by the way what does this program do? It identifies all the words that are given in a sentence. It's a very simple program but in order to understand the nature of this program we found that this particular implementation is just an implementation of what is called a finite state automata. Precisely the deterministic finite automaton. The name seems very complex, but when we go to the details of how this has been implemented, we see that DFA, a deterministic finite automata, is nothing but a transition diagram. We call this a transition diagram because this transition diagram contains states. See here there is this state called outside and there is this state called inside and between these states there are transitions. Okay. So now, now let's look at what we are going to do today. Here I have created a file called lexer.exe. Okay, this is our lexical analyzer. So this is an actual program that's sitting on my hard drive. Now we claim that this particular lexer.exe is able to handle C-like syntax. So let's run this lexer.exe and this lexer.exe is now waiting for input. Okay. So suppose we type this plus here, then it says it has found that its token is 2. Remember what is a token? Token is just an integer, a small number which represents this character plus. It is an arbitrary representation. Here your token is 2, it could be 100 or whatever. You have to decide whatever your token number is. And it also identifies that it correctly identifies that this is a plus operation. Similarly, if we do a multiply, it says, yeah, we got another token. This time the token is 5. And remember the 5 is not important, but it's important that both these token numbers are different. So every time we give a plus, it will say it found a token number 2. Every time we give a multiply, it's going to give us a token number 5. And this token number 5 can be decoded as multiplication operation. Some other operation like this, which is the divide operation. Then it correctly identifies, yeah, the token number is some number, which is distinct from all other token numbers. And this symbol here represents the division operator. Now if we give a name like a position, then this it says that position is actually an identifier. So if we type something like position equal to rate assigned rate into 60, okay, then what does it say? It says position is an identifier. This symbol here is assignment. Rate is another identifier. This star here is a multiplier. This 60 here is a constant and this here is a semicolon. So if we give an expression like this, it says 2 here is a constant. This plus is the plus symbol and this 3 is another constant. So we enter something wrong like this. Percentage is not sub important. It says it has found some error. If you use the term like dollar, it says it found some error. At the rate might be some symbol, it says it has found an error. So what we are seeing here is that if we input correct syntax, very similar to C expression, it seems to work. If I do a control D, then the program terminates. So we have just seen 
in practice the execution of a lexical analyzer so what is our target our target today is to start writing a lexical analyzer so now we have already seen that this lexical lexical analyzer always gives us this tokens tokens is just a small a small number so it just said the output of lexer is a token and what is a token 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 is a small integer value that represents a part of speech let's take this example where zero is represents plus okay you know we can take one and let this be minus we take another token say token number 2 you say multiply the suppose we talk about semicolon this is the part of speech so how will the semicolon look like semicolon look like this say 4 token number 4 we can say uh, number number is not a specific thing anything can be number no so 1 2 3 is an example of a number it could be like 60.0 this is also a number 3.14278 this is also a number okay uh, 77 all these are examples of all these are examples of the part of speech number which bears this token 4 so you have already got what tokens are tokens are small numbers that represents the various parts of speech and here on the right side we have all these examples you know plus ka to it will just be plus only plus minus multiply divide ye sab to same hi rahega semicolon will be semicolon but number could be like 1 2 3 60 etc so in case of number or in case of identifier part of a speech you can have infinite number of examples of strings all these example of strings have a technical name they are called lexeme is just a technical term that represents the strings that will fit this particular part of a speech so now the question that the important question that comes really is how do you store these tokens programmatically how to represent a token a very simple implementation could be use of array now in this token table for each of these tokens these token numbers are represented by the index of the array and how do you represent all these names plus minus etc all of these are all of these are stored as strings here now this the first element it contains what does it contain plus plus no ah oh, plus 5 will be identifier 4 will be number 3 will be semicolon 2 will be mul multiplication and 1 will represent minus what will be the content of this token table so we have addressed the first part of our problem is that how to represent a token and its corresponding name let's implement uh, lex.c represent token table as array okay how do you represent an array you first have this type information followed by name so you can say token table and you know how many elements are there um, whenever we want to write a string in c we have to represent it by the type char star or kyunki a fixed string se it should be actually const const matlab constant character star 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are six elements no six okay all of these are strings no first this is an array that consists of six elements what is the type the type is string string bolke koi type to hota nahi hai it's actually const character suppose get a token number okay kaun sa token number token number 0 if you want to find what does this token number represent tables aap kaise dekhenge you'll say token table bracket token aisa nahi karenge kya this is to this is token table this table this token table may will put the index and what is the index token equal to 0 ye table token 0 mein kya print hona chahiye 
plus. Okay, so let's try this cclex.c and when we run it, it will print out plus. And uh, what about token 5? Token 5 may kya print on a chair? Identifier. Identifier. So you can just try it out. Token 5. If token 5, if I compile it and run it, it should print out identifier. So this is fine, but here what is the problem? We are using 4 as magic number. This is a problem, no? So let's not do this. Let's uh, fix this problem. And how do you fix this problem? There's a very common way to fix this problem. Whenever you are using magic, magic numbers, you can use the enumerated type. Now we, don't, now we don't have to remember anything. We don't have to use. So we have no use of magic numbers. This we, we have set the token to plus. Now what should the string representation be? Whenever we have this plus, matlab, token number 0, what should be the value printed? Plus, so now you can see it, let's see it. cc lex 1.c, 1.c, let's see it, plus will be plus. Now, if you say, instead of plus, if you say identifier, number number, you don't need to remember, you just have to type identifier. After that, compile it, then it will print out identifier, you can see. What I am saying is this table is there, this is 0 ka matlab plus, hai, 1 ka matlab, this is fine. But this index also, why should we remember? We represent the indices of this array by an enumerated type and we represent this token table as a array of strings.